The DNA molecule, the DNA molecule, the DNA molecule is the nude descending a staircase, a circular one. See the undersurfaces of the spiral treads and the spaces in between. She is descending and at the same time ascending, and she moves around herself. For she is the staircase, a protoplasmic framework, an internal scaffolding that twists and turns. She is a double helix mounting and dismounting around the swivel of her imaginary spine. The nude named DNA can be constructed as a model with matches and a ribbon of tape. Be sure to use only four colors on two white strands of twistable tape. Only matches of complementary colors may be placed opposite each other. The pairs are to be red and green and yellow and blue. Make your model as high as the Empire State Building, and you have an acceptable replica of the nude. But, and this is harder, you must make her move in a continuous coil, an alpha helix, a double spiral, downward and upward at once, and you must make her increase while at the same time occupying the same field. She must be made to maintain a basic topography, changing yet remaining stable, if she is to perform her function, which is to produce and reproduce the microsphere. Such a sphere is invisible to, but omnipresent in the naked eye of the nude. It contains a central region and an outer membrane, making it able to divide, to make exact copies of itself without limit. The nude has the capacity for replication and transcription of all genesis. She ingests and regurgitates the genetic material, it being the material of her own cell cell. From single, she becomes double, and from double, single. As a woman ingests the demon sperm and with the same membrane regurgitates the mitotic double of herself upon the slide of time, so the DNA molecule produces with a little pop at the waistline of its viscous drop, a new microsphere the same size as herself, which proceeds singly to grow in order to divide and double itself. So from single to double and double to single and mounting while descending, she expands while contracts, she proliferates while disappearing at both of her ends. Remember that red can only be opposite green and blue opposite yellow. Remember that the complementary pairs of matches must differ slightly in length, for nature's pairs can be made only with units whose structures permit an interplay of forces between the partners. I fixed a blue match opposite a red match of the same length in defiance of the rules, pointed them away from the center on the double-stranded tape. I saw laid a number of eggs on eggs on the sticky side of a twig. I saw a worm with many feet grow out of an egg. The worm climbed the twig, a single helix, and gobbled the magnified edge of a leaf in quick, enormous bites. It then secreted out of itself a gray floss, with which it wrapped itself tail first and so on, until it had completely muffled and encased itself head last as in a mummy pouch. I saw plushy, iridescent wings push moistly out of the pouch. At first glued together, they began to part, on each wing I saw a large blue eye open forever in the expression of resurrection. The new nude released the flanges of her wings, stretching herself to touch at all points the outermost rim of the noosphere. I saw that for her body, from which the wings expanded, she had retained the worm.